lot of bad news in there, I guess, is, is the point. Let's talk Apple, Keith, because down five and a quarter percent today. Unusual move for the biggest stock. Bank of America downgraded it this morning to neutral from buy. The concern there, weaker consumer demand. But another firm disagreed. Rosenblatt actually upgraded the stock to buy from neutral and raised its price target to 189. Joining us for more is Ed Snyder, Charter Equity Research Analyst. Where do you come down, Ed, between the two on what to do with Apple? Well, I'd be quite bearish here. We've been predicting this since January, the increase uh, the down cycle on the recession. We've only just hit the beginning of it. It hit retail. We saw that in spades last quarter. Uh, it's now moving into industrial and automotive. But as far as Apple's concerned, it was inevitably going to get to them sooner or later. The shocking thing here is that the last time that Apple fell short of unit sales, uh, you didn't see it until the Facebook bought all their phones. So they launched in September. The Facebook finished buying their phones probably around December. Uh, they told their suppliers the second week of December after iPhone 6S, uh, a, you know, back off with the management what we expect. Now they're already two weeks after the launch, they're already saying it. So it's it's a bit more acute than even iPhone 6S, and I think it's going to get materially worse. The thing is, when it comes to demand, it, it seems all very speculative. It comes from a report. It comes from hearsay. It comes from monitoring. And, and you know, sometimes that's right. But how, how do we know what's actually going on with these new units? I, don't, I wouldn't consider it to be speculative. There's been uh, lots of indication that demand is weakening. Last year, at this time, several of the semiconductor suppliers into the China food chain, uh, especially Corvo, ran into a huge inventory problem. Sales slowed down. All the Chinese thought they'd sell a lot. They didn't. They're still sitting on that inventory. They're going to have a rough time of it coming up here. And then you started seeing ripples of that start to hit Samsung. Uh, you heard TI report retail chain was getting weak. So there's been lots of uh, quantitative information that suggests this is all happening. Apple's kind of an elite group, right? They're, they're a completely different animal. They're very high premium phone. They've got a lot of people who really love Apple. But uh, sales haven't been spectacular in the last couple of years. Now you're facing recession, and you're, in my opinion, getting the natural consequences of that. The premium side is going to get hurt, too, and that's what's happening. So, okay, so the stock is about 20% down now year to date. It's, it's fallen. It's still trading about 23 times next year's earnings. How, how do you value it? How should it be valued? More like a staple stock well, I, or I, I, more vulnerable discretionary? It, it, it's very, it, well, obviously, they're very strong. Balance sheet's excellent. They generate a lot of cash. It is a staple stock, but it, I agree. Expectations are everything. Right now, expectations remain too high, especially to get an upgrade on Apple at this point, which I think is comical. So you're going to get uh, an element of the investors who still believe, hey, you know, we'll shake this off and things will be better. But if you're talking about um, uh, too little demand two weeks after they launch, then you're looking at probably one of the worst iPhone selling seasons in the history of iPhone. I don't know how bad it will get. Um, I mean, I'd be super cute, but it's going to last for quite some time. And I expect you're going to hear it a lot about this in the October reports from the semiconductor companies that supply that. So I would not be getting bullish on Apple or actually most anywhere in tech at this point because the other shoe of the recession is starting to hit, industrial and automotive. Mike Run said that in the pre-announcement earlier this, early this uh, in August they did. And so you're going to hear it again at the, uh, when they report the quarter um, in a few minutes or so. So there's a lot more bad news that's got to inform the, the tech valuations, and I just wait for that. And then when we get on the bottom side of it, then, then I start looking at getting bullish. Well, it's hitting all the – everything's hit right now, as Christina said, in the chip world. But a lot of these Apple suppliers have especially hard Skyworks, Cirrus, NXP. Yeah. Thank you, Ed.